Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video, a uh, quick tip on door alignment. People are always asking me, Chris, how do you get your doors to align so perfectly? How do you get them to open and close perfectly? You know, what, what's the secret? So, as you can see, this is my 51 split and uh, shut the door. Shuts perfectly, solid sound, um, and the lines are nice and even here. The chrome lines are perfectly, not one is not lower than the other. And you got the lines here, uh, straight the body lines. So uh, basically, a uh, quick and easy tip for this is, let's go over here to a project that's painted, but needs to be assembled. And basically the, the ticket here is to align your door before anything is on it. So I have no door handles, I have no seal, I have no scrapers, I have nothing in these doors. And basically at the body shop, these should be getting aligned. All right, so your door should shut nice and even before you apply anything, before you even apply any paint or body work, really. Um, so you want to make sure that your lines are good so when you get back home and you have to assemble your bug, uh, this is not going to run into an issue after uh, the door is all assembled. Because uh, many times I see this is worried about later, and after they start putting strikers on, mechanisms, uh, the striker plates in here, and the door seals, the door seals then rub for the running boards. Uh, your mechanism here, your latch might, might catch uh, too low or too high. You might scrape the body, I've seen that before. So the best way to align your doors is of course with nothing on it, okay? So you have, uh, you know, no seals and, and such. If, um, you know, when you get back from the body shop and the door is misaligned just a little bit, um, again, Try to fix it this way first, and then you progressively start adding the features to the door uh, to make it shut right. But if you do have to align it, you know, there are adjustments here on the hinges, but really those adjustments here and here is for the door to go this way or this way, I've noticed. So sometimes you get a little bit of movement, you know, up or down, okay, with line, with, the, with those uh, lines meeting up. But for the most part, those are just kind of in and out. Uh, whether the door sits, you know, hangs out at the bottom or at the top. So uh, that's basically what those what those do. So um, a lot of times, you know, if the door is not aligned correctly, it might be you have your heater channel or rocker problem. And I spoke about this in the past, where you know bugs are notorious for rotting down in the in the corners here uh, by the pillars. And if you have a rotted or soft section here, that is going to you know, make your door not shut correctly as well, uh, and especially over here as well. So, so, as you can see, here's a prime example here. The door was actually rubbing a little bit here, okay, prior uh, to uh, us assembling it. So, uh, that's something we're going to have to rectify. But um, these are the uh, the symptoms that come up when it comes to door alignment. So, uh, just have to be mindful. If you are doing heater channels, I definitely recommend picking up the Bug Me video a DVD series on heater channel replacement. He's going to show you how to brace the car and how to make sure that your doors align correctly um, before you start um, welding up your brand new heater channels. Because brand new heater channels today are kind of problematic. They're not year specific, and uh, it is you know it's, if you have earlier bugs, you know sometimes the shape is not correct, and your body guy does have to do a little bit more work, you know, to get it to be right. Uh, so you have to be mindful of that as well. So. But uh, that's just a quick tip on door alignment. Um, again, you want to just be able to shut the door perfectly without anything on it. It shouldn't be banging. It shouldn't be supported, you know, to get into an alignment after everything's assembled. You want to make sure this door shuts uh, nice, just like that. And your lines are good, your holes are good, and you should be on your way. All right, guys, uh, if you have any uh, questions, email me, chris at classicvwbugs.com. Or visit my website, www.classicvwbugs.com. Take care.